So I'm here at the Terra Frutis farm. I'm gonna show you some stuff that's been going on recently. Walking into the farm cabin, here we got the volunteer work schedule, and then placed a few, uh, replaced a few floorboards in this room. This is our nice new Ryobi electric chainsaw, 40 volts. It works pretty well. A lot of papaya trees planted. We'll start fruiting in Got a few months. Got some swale action here with papaya trees, pineapples, and some vetiver grass. So yeah, this is our new renovated kitchen. We got a nice counter. We got Cedric. We got some other people. Teresa and Andrew hanging out eating some lemons and other things. A lot of abiu. It's abiu season. <clears throat> this little clay contraption here. It's a decoration. Just kidding. It's actually a rocket stove made out of clay. We have a lot of bananas. These are the green ones that'll make you constipated. And there's the ripe ones. And there's some papayas. We've been harvesting maybe five or six a day for a while now. So pretty much anywhere you look here, it's a really nice view. It's kind of hard to get away from it. Off there in the distance, you can see uh, Cedric's hammock tent. Congratulations, you're on YouTube. Hooray! <laughs> We're cutting down the grass in this area so we could build a little three by three tent platform with a roof, one of our newest house constructions. So it should sleep about two to three people. And I'm about to enter the Palm House Homestead area, an area we're currently developing. Just to hold on for a moment while I open this crazy medieval looking gate. Yep. That'll keep the fruit thieves out. Oh, look at the cute little baby banana tree. That's right next to our water line, which carries gravity powered water to the Palm House Homestead area and down to the cabin. So we have running water at both locations. Here's some beams for the Palm House. There's those nice palm wood beams. Wood beams on the top. Next step is throw up 13 more beams and build another structure and a floor up there. Those three girls you saw walking down the hill were just uh, sanding and sanding these posts right here which are for the second floor of the Palm House. And they're also treating them with borax which is a biodegradable uh, chemical non-toxic that repels ants and helps the wood not decay. Some bamboo we're using for, going to be using for the roof. Over there it's soaking in a bucket. The ends are soaking in a bucket of borax. So you can already sleep up there. It's our water pipe junction. One goes to the palm house and one goes down to the cabin kitchen. It actually gives us quite a bit of pressure. We're going to install some showers. Now I'm leaving the palm house area through this other beautiful medieval looking gate into the pasture heading over to the stream which I can hear from here. There's some shanta palms a native palm tree that provides food and wood. I'm here at this beautiful Queen Mountain Spring. There's a little bathing area that we made. Uh, unfortunately, there's no naked fruitarians in it right now, but there may be soon. This right here is some baby uh, spineless guadua bamboo that we planted near the stream. It's much easier to harvest because it doesn't have thorns. Uh, of course, it actually has thorns right now, but once it gets older, it won't and more mature. Bamboo likes to get planted in wet areas such as this one. Would you like to pick some lemons from the lemon tree? Oh, hey, I found the water line again. It looks like uh, these ants are using it as a highway. So this is where our water line exits the stream. Well, it actually exits the stream about 100 meters up, so we get quite a bit... From this two inch hose, we get quite a bit of pressure. And there's a lot of elevation change. So it follows the stream for about 100 meters, and then we have a filter box. And every so often, we're gonna add another 100 meters of hose and keep going higher and higher, so we get cleaner and cleaner water. Eventually, we get to the spring. Uh, of course, we're... And pretty soon, we're actually gonna have enough pressure from it to run a small scale hydroelectric turbine. We, we have very small electricity needs, just need to charge a few power tools here and there, small electronics. So you know, five kilowatts, a, a, a very small turbine running from this, uh, the pressure from the stream will supply quite a bit. We won't have to make a huge dam or do anything environmentally destructive, just a pipe like this and this tiny turbine.
So yeah, that's basically what's going on at Terra Frutis. If you're interested in paying us a visit, check out the website. Send us an email. TerraFrutis.com TerraFrutis.Ecuador at gmail.com TerraFrutis on Facebook TerraFrutis on YouTube Yeah, I think that's all the social media we got. Maybe there's an Instagram out there somewhere. I think I'll take this little path through the banana field. There's bananas up there. They'll be ready in a month or two. Oh, gotta take a left here. Yeah, a little baby guanabana tree over there. Also known as soursop. Skirting around the outside of the banana field right now. That's why you don't see any banana trees. But hey, there's an avocado tree right here. I planted that one about a month ago. It was growing in the greenhouse for a few months before that. It's a local variety. Mm. I don't see any bananas ready to pick. That's because I just picked these ones earlier today. Probably some over there though. Got some more baby papayas. This is a Mokenia banana. Over here, hidden in the brush, we got a nice jackfruit tree. It's pretty happy. Even happier now that I'm pulling the vines off of it. We mulched it with uh, cacao leaves. There happened to be a cacao tree nearby. Big fat leaves. Over here, we got a jaboticaba. Oh, hey, it's another jaboticaba, also known as Brazilian tree grape. A very happy sugarcane plant. Red banana. Oh, what a delicious banana. You gotta be careful not to step on this uh, baby palm tree. It's a very important local variety. Here's a Rolinia that I planted a month ago. It was in the greenhouse for about six months before that. It looks like all the big lower leaves were decimated by ants. But the nice thing about it is then they left the rest of the plant alone and it looks like it's going to regenerate and do pretty well. Here is Pinto Pina, a ground cover. Hey, what are you guys doing? We are planting some kachuk and cranberry hibiscus. They're really yummy greens. Hey, what are you guys eating? Cabbage, avocado, apple, sultanas, and onion. Oh, that's very delicious.